Come on, Dave. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ooh, I've got everything. I'm Sam. <laughs> I've got all the tools. Ooh, yeah. look at this. I've got a fancy fest tool bench dog sustainer kit with everything in it that I need. Show off. Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to show you how you make an MFT workstation. Can you help me or what? Let's get into it. Safety first, PPE. So while Sammy sets up the router, the reason why I've chosen this piece of MDF exactly is one, because it was an off cut and didn't cost me anything. And two, because it's perfectly sized for what I think the best uses of an MFT top table are gonna be for me. And that is, I've gone for 800 mil wide in the width and I've gone for 1300 mil wide in the length so that I can use it for anything that's 1200 wide coming that way. But also when I'm setting out door linings and frames, I can actually set them inside the 800 mil and I've got full support all the way through. Now, it's important to note that the RS CNC Pro Jig will require a 30 mil bush guide and a 12 mil cutter. Now, if you stay around for the rest of the episode, there's just a small tip to get these bench dogs as tight as possible. So that's the first pass done with just the 30 mil bush guide. And as you can see now, when I put this little test one in, there's a bit of play and a bit of rattle on the bench dog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some self-adhesive tape around the edge of the bush guide now until we make sure that that is a lovely tight fit with our bench dogs. That's the one. Zero play on that whatsoever. That's the baby. All the bench jobs that they're tied and we haven't got to do a second pass. On some occasions you might have to do a second pass should they get a bit of dust at the back of the bush. So that's always worth noting. So now I know my bench dogs are as tight as can be. Let's move on to the next two rows. Turn the cameras. So now we have done our first two sets of holes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over our jig template. We're gonna line up these two locator pegs with the holes that we've already cut, push them into place. And as you can see, they're a very nice tight fit. And that then is ready to go perfectly aligned up for our next set of holes. It's amazing how we just read like three or four words and then drink it. Yeah, I know. It could say <laughs> at the back, I don't know, something weird. They're actually quite nice as well. I've got the summer fruits ones on order as well. I'll tell you what, cutting MDF is firsty work. It's firsty work. Out the mask. I mean, we always wear masks. <laughs> 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 Right then, MFT. So MFT stands for multifunctional table. 
You already know that's the reason why you're watching this video. Now the possibilities of an MFT are endless. This also increases your workflow and it also maintains the accuracy. You need both on and off site. We're putting the link in the description below. This would be the bush guide, the self-adhesive tape and the 12mm cutter. Now it's very important that you get this foil self-adhesive tape. This is again like we've shown before, is to wrap it around the bush guide. This is to ensure a tight hole for your bench dog. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe as you'll be really helping the channel. And both myself and David were over there, appreciate it. Now let's get back to cutting the holes. Oh, drop of rain then, did you? So now we've got to the end, we've got the last two rows to go for. And then you can see we've got about a three mil margin. So if you fitted this bob on, or this was an absolute fluke, what are you saying? I reckon it was definitely how square the board was cut in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> so the bonus with this CNC project is not only can you go the landscape way, you can also go the portrait way. So we know now we need to get another two rows this side in order for us to match the left hand side, your left hand side, my right hand side. Oh, it's such a brain box, Sam. So now we have got all our holes in place on the worktop bench. What I'm going to do now is we've got a chamfer cutter in this trim router with a bearing on the bottom, and I'm going to run it round all the holes. And what that does is it puts a tiny little 45 degree cut on the top surface which will stop dust getting underneath the bench dogs and it also makes it easier entry when you're putting your plugs in place. If you haven't got a router, you can buy a bench dog chamfer cutter, which we'll put a link in the description below. And what that does is it goes in and does the exact same thing, but in this instance, we're gonna use the router. So there we have it, that is the build of the MFT worktop table, all done and dusted, perfect for on-site use and the workshop. And if you're interested in what components we do use on the MFT, stay tuned for the next one, peace out. Always the funniest thing about self-adhesive foil tape, getting the back off. I know. <laughs>